More than 2,000 people have signed a petition asking the city to add bike lanes to East Houston Street. That is where a San Antonio entrepreneur, Tito Bradshaw, was killed early Monday morning, hit while riding his bike there by a woman who police say was driving drunk. We thank you for your son Tito, dear God, for everyone that he touched here today, dear God, for every connection that he formed, dear God. We say thank you, dear God. We thank you for the life that was lived as an upstanding citizen. He's been up and down that road so many times. Just this time, something happened. He was heading home. I think he was hanging out with Clay and Harley somewhere south town. He wasn't far. I believe he had lights on. I don't think he was wearing a helmet. He would wear helmets on, on long rides. He has a child that he survived by, and everybody in the whole community is trying to pitch in and trying to give some kind of support. Child is going to grow up fatherless. We always focused our lives around Valentino. Valentino grew up in the bike shop, riding in the trailer of a bike. I don't think he was afraid to die, but I know he didn't want to leave Valentino. And it's hard to imagine Valentino going on without his father, but. I mean, as you see, we have a lot of people here, a lot of memories to share with Valentino. So he'll always be around in that respect. And also in that the organs that he donated, he will, you know, his heart is still beating. It's still beating here on earth. And even though it's in someone else's body, I know it still beats for Valentino. He'll take the time out of his day just to make you smile before he continues on with his very busy day. He enjoyed life no matter what. Somebody could bring his day down and he would just like build a wall for that and just continue going on. The guy would wake up from early in the morning to like late at night and continue to do it every day. I really did enjoy working for him, man, like, so much. He's a great leader, he's a great like enthusiast, you know, very great entrepreneur. People on bikes are people with families. Not everybody riding a bike is doing it just for fun. So for some people, this is their mode of transportation. And bikes should have their space in the street. Can't ride on the sidewalk, hugging the curb. They need to give bikes space. We also lost a surgeon, Dr. K. Russo, uh, was, was hit not too long ago. He's not real people. It doesn't take much to slow down, to move over, you know, give the three feet I'm supposed to give. I just hope at least that people are more aware of that. And yes, that we do get more bike lanes in San Antonio. They kind of start and stop randomly. People park in them, use them as a turning lane or to get around slower cars. Just riding our bikes, the car comes out of nowhere, clips me, and it looks at me, makes sure I'm okay, and continues on chasing that car. And he's like, no, you're gonna stop. You're gonna make a police report. Be a man and do it. And the, guy, the driver got out. The cops came, made the police report, and he made sure it happened. <laughs> it was great, it was beautiful. Love him. That's what. <laughs> Forever. It gets hectic from time to time, but you know, like, because of my passion, it's never gonna stop me. I mean, I've been in multiple car crashes, you know, injuries, like, it's not gonna stop us, <laughs> ever. Like, there's something about being a cyclist that's just like, we feel for the earth, we can feel the vibration, we feel the energy, we can see the movements in time. Falcons or eagles fly over, and then all the other birds shoo them out of the area, like, 
You don't get to see things like that in a car. I mean, just flutters, birds that whisk by you and what have you, things that you would never have noticed before. The air smells different every single day. There's always a different noise, there's a different sight. Always positive, always with a smile, always with great advice. You know, if you needed anything, he, he, he was there. And, and he's like that with everybody, no matter if you were um, CEO of a, of a business or if you were a janitor somewhere, he was going to treat you the same. Roy saved my life, helped me through depression, he's helped me through a lot, dragged me straight to the top <laughs> from the gutter, man. He's such a, a sweet mixture of like a humble yet extrovert social butterfly kind of guy that I think he gets a lot from his family who have always been so accepting of everybody. We ask for strength for this family, we ask for strength for this community, for the courage that will see us through in the days after this, dear Lord, until we all meet Tito once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.